What's up guys, Michael here. Today actually I'm going to be reviewing the iPad 2 Case Genius Exec Case from Zugu. Now you can find this case on Zugu.com and I will be leaving a link in the description below for you guys to click to get to a little bit easier. The case retails for $69 but they often have sales and sometimes um, some promotions so uh, definitely be checking on their website a lot because you might be able to get it for cheaper than that. And to be completely honest guys, this is actually probably my favorite iPad case currently. I've been using these style of Zugu cases probably ever since I believe the iPad one, I know it was with the iPad 2. I've always been using these types of cases. It's got this portfolio kind of design here. What I'm going to do is open it up and you'll notice right away it has magnets keeping it secure and not opening it up for the portfolio design. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up here and you'll notice I don't have my iPad in there because I just wanted to show you guys the nice microfiber material uh, that they do provide. What this does is it kind of cleans your screen at the same time while your iPad is in here and there's also microfiber material here so aside from cleaning it, it also kind of protects it too with this nice soft material. Now although it may be hard to pick up on camera, you can kind of see it a little bit there but with this material comes some uh, downside. Since it's black, you can see a lot of dust, and since it's the type of material, a lot of the dust and uh, just really dust and hair, I guess, kind of just stick to the actual case itself, uh, which is never a good thing, but it's something that I don't think a lot of case manufacturers are gonna be getting away from anytime soon, because this is just such good material, and it really isn't too big of a deal. Um, I don't ever notice any dust getting on my iPad or anything like that, but just the fact that it's there, sometimes it's a little gross to look at. It's very hard to get off. Um, but that is one of the downsides of the microfiber material. Now you can see here, this is kind of a plastic shell for the actual iPad. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to install, uh, but what this plastic shell does is again, provide an additional layer of protection, as well as keep the iPad 2 in place. So let's go ahead and take my iPad 2, or iPad Air 2 here, and I'm just gonna snap it in place here. And you guys can see that's all you gotta do. And now the iPad is in place and it's not gonna fall out or anything. So with the iPad in there now, what we can do is actually put it into a stand mode, which is one of the things of why this makes it my favorite case. So what we're gonna do here is just kind of flip it um, on the back here, just like we did like that. And what you do is you flip down the little kickstand here, which again is just connected by magnets on this hard plastic back material. And what you can do is there's Velcro right there and right there and there's also Velcro on the sides here. And what that allows you to do is really put this iPad in any angle you want. So you can put it in a real steep mode, you can put it in a way farther laid back mode for typing or playing games or something. Uh, you can go right in the middle. You really can pretty much do any angle you want and the Velcro is really sticky and it just kinda stays like that throughout its lifetime. Again, I've had these type of iPad cases for a long time. I've never had an issue with the Velcro. This case is quite a bit newer than those ones, so obviously I'm not having issues yet, but I've never had an issue with the Velcro becoming um, not sticky, I guess you could say, having it move around. It's always able to stay in the same position and you're always able to move it in so many different positions. Now, another thing about this case that I like too is you have access to all of your ports here. So you have a very large cutout on the bottom here, uh, which makes it so that you can amplify and hear all of your audio as well as connect uh, your lightning cable to charge. Obviously the front is completely wide open, no issues there whatsoever. The side, we don't need anything open on there because there's nothing there. Uh, on the top we have the headphone jack, which I am able to fit in all of my headphones. I don't have too many third party headphones, but I'm able to use all mine. Power button, very easily accessible, as well as the volume up and down buttons, no problems there. And then if we take a look at the back here, you can see we do have the camera hole cutout. Uh, only issue with that is when you do cover it up, uh, it gets closed, but that's actually a good thing because what that's doing is protecting it when you're not using it. But when you want to take a picture, it's fairly easy to kind of just take a picture. The only thing you can't do is flip it all the way around like I did there because the camera hole will be covered. You do kind of have to hold it a little awkward, kind of like this, a little awkward, but I mean, personally, I hardly ever take pictures with my iPad. I don't even remember the last time I took a picture with my iPad with a back-facing camera, so that's not a huge deal for me. Um, but if you take a lot of pictures with your iPad, with the back of your iPad, then it could be an issue because it's just kind of a little awkward just to kind of hold like this. Now the last thing I want to say about this case is just the overall quality of it. It has this nice leather material and it's very, very protective from drops, spills, pretty much everything. Because of that portfolio design, it covers everything when it's closed. Um, it's protected from drops on the corners. It's got a lot of padding there. Now this advantage to all this is it makes it heavy and bulky, but there's not really anything you can get away from that when you have a Portstoyo style case. Overall though guys, this is still my favorite iPad case to date ever since the iPad 2. This is the type of case I've been using for 
years with iPads. Um, they have re-envisioned it um, every now and then for different generations of iPad. This is what their best one out right now is for this style of case they have. This is the Genius Exact case. Again, I'm going to leave the link in the description below, guys, but this is by far my favorite iPad case. Um, they are not paying me to say this. They did provide this case to me, and I've been using it for a long, long time now, and I just wanted to make uh, another video about it because I'm always asked what my favorite cases are, uh, and this definitely is for the iPad. So if you guys are interested in this case at all, definitely go to Zugu.com. Um, if you don't like this style, then that's okay. You know, not everyone likes the portfolio style case, uh, but this is just great. If we're watching movies, typing, pretty much anything, um, I don't mind the bulkiness and the heaviness that it adds. Uh, all the other benefits that it provides is way, way worth it to me. Other than that, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Go ahead and check out Zugu.com. There'll be a link in the description below, like I keep saying, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.